Then instead of calling them friends, maybe you say, Lord, it's time to prune my surroundings because I want to get to the promised land. I'm tired of living in the same old place, being with the same people, eating the same stuff, doing the same things. I want to be able to have uh, 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 the dream. I want to be able to achieve that where I need to be, Lord. He can do it, church. Fear. Acronym for fear. F-E-A-R. You have two choices, church. You can fear everything and run, or you can face everything and rise. We choose to live. We choose to live. And just as there is pain and labor, because to get to that promise, there is pain, there is struggle, there is tears, there is pain. But when the baby comes out, it is worth, it is priceless, excuse me. It is priceless. Ask yourself, do you want to stay where you're at? Are you happy where you're at? Fine. But you know what? God has called us for something bigger and greater. His promises are yes and amen. Do you want them? Do you want them? And here's the deal. Pastor, but I don't know how to fight. Pastor, but I don't know how to do this. God didn't say you were going to face your giant and fight your giant. He said, just face it. I'll be him. You just got to show up. You just got to show up. I will take him down. I will do whatever I need to do. So stop trying to figure out a way to cheat in there, to cut this or do that so that you can find a way to, you don't have to do that. Don't try to figure out the battle plan. Just follow the instructions. God will do it for you. 